Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Fallon Ruddock. If you're new here, then hi. Um, thank you so much for finding my YouTube videos. Thank you so much for watching them. Thank you for liking them. Thank you for taking the time out to sit there and watch me. Um, I'm so, so grateful for you all. So thank you so much. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to create this sunset eye look. Um, so if you'd like to know how I create this look, then please keep watching. So yeah, I'm just going to go in straight away with my all-time favourite foundation, I think. It's the All Hours Foundation by YSL in the shade BD45. I did get the Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hour Full, full Coverage Foundation the other day. Um, and if you watched my last video, you'd see that it was a little bit of a disaster. Um, the shading was so off, like it was so orange. Managed to work with it though, like off camera it didn't look too bad with like the concealer and stuff, we'd lightened it up. But honestly, in the video, it was so bad, I was like, oh, no one's going to watch this. And when they get to this part, they're going to turn it off. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to go in all over the face with NYX, Can NYX Professional Makeup um, Foundation Brush. Which, by the way, is dirty. I need to clean my brushes, but I just, I take so, it takes so long to sit there and wash them and then to wait for them to dry. It's so long. Also, ignore the state of my skin. It's just not loving me at the moment. But I, I'm one of these people that picks at their skin when there's nothing really there to pick and then I make something. I think I got it from my mum. I think my mum does it. So I'm just going to go in with my NYX Professional Makeup Brush in the number 3. This is my all time favourite buffing brush to buff all of the foundation in. I feel like this brush really gives like a nice airbrushed even finish. And obviously it just gets rid of any lines as well that are on your face. So just going around in circular motions. And really lightly as well, like you don't want to be putting hardly any pressure onto your brush because you don't want to be moving the product around, so to speak. You just want to be like buffing it in. Yeah, buffing it in. So just quickly as well, I just want to say that I'm not like a professional makeup artist. I'm a self-taught makeup artist and it was just like I was lucky enough to get the job for NYX Professional Makeup. Um, so... I don't know all like the terminal word, no, what's the word? The proper words for things and some of the times like, I don't know how to do everything and it's completely fine. There's no right or wrong way to do makeup. Like if you like it, then just do it, it's fine. But I just wanted to be able to share like my tips and tricks and how I do it with you all. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it's like, the right way or the only way or the, the way you have to do it because it's not um, now I'm just going to go in with the Conceal and Define Concealer by Makeup Revolution in the shade C3 so now I'm just going to use my damp uh, Real Techniques sponge just to blend that all in I do really like this concealer actually People said that it's a um, dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape fa uh, Concealer, so I don't know how true that is because I've never used the Tarte Shape one, the, the Tarte Shape Tape one, but if it's a dupe then... So now that that's all blended in, I'm just going to go with the Vici Derm... Why is that so wonky? The Vici Derma Blend um, setting powder in translucent and going in with my NYX Professional Makeup Brush number 26 just to set that. So all under my eyes, I just like to press that in. All under. So the Maybelline 24 hour foundation was like matte, like I said in the video. Oh, you alright hun? Um, yeah, it's matte, like I said in the video, um, and it it did go oily, it did go oily, but not until like, hmm, I'd say like later, later on in the evening. It wasn't until I got back from trick-or-treating with the kids that I noticed that it was a little bit oily, but it was nowhere near as oily as what it normally 
like goes. So we had a little bit of a disaster on Halloween. We um, went to go and get the kids from nursery. We picked them up early because Hallie's had a cough for like, I would say two weeks now. She's had a cough and it was just getting worse and worse. And they'd had like, I mean, Jessie's had it as well, but they'd gone through like nearly a whole bottle of cough medicine and nothing nothing had got rid of it. Like it was, it was still there. It was waking her up all night. And she was ending up coming into bed with me and Jordan would like go and sleep in her bed. Um, so we said like, let's make a doctor's appointment and just see like what's going on. It might be like a chest infection. They'll give her some antibiotics and then she'll be okay. So we picked them up from nursery at four. We left rugby and our doctors is still in where we used to live. So it's about normally 15 minute drive away, which was fine. We was like, that's fine, we'll take her, that's fine. Our appointment was for half four and at half four we still hadn't even got out of rugby like there was so much traffic it was unbelievable so we didn't get to the doctor's surgery until five o'clock and it turns out she has croup um so i think it's a cough that like affects the airways the lungs and the voice box so the doctor prescribed a steroid for her and it was only a one-off little tablet that she'd have to have and then hopefully touch wood it will go so we went to the pharmacy that's built into the doctors, they were like, oh we don't have it, you can come back tomorrow, and we were like, but we can't come back tomorrow, it's like 15 minutes away. Like, we could have driven back there, but we just thought if we can try and get it somewhere that's in rugby and we can get it now, like, ready for tonight, we'd rather do that. So we were like, no, no, no that's fine, we'll go and have a look in rugby if somewhere's got it. Thinking like, all the pharmacies that are around here, one of them is going to have it, surely. No. No way had it. We literally tried everywhere, we went Asda, Boots. Sainsbury's, yeah Tesco, and nowhere had it, everyone was like oh no we don't have that, oh no we don't have that, so we were like oh my god what do we do, driving around, driving around, driving around, finally went to Tesco and the man had it, so he gave it to us and that was at, by the time we'd done all of that, it was half past seven, so then we went and got the kids like a quick McDonald's just to cheer them up a little bit, and they didn't actually go out trick or treating until quarter past eight that night. So we'd been driving around for like four hours since they finished nursery. We didn't get home until half seven, eight. Yeah, I think it was like eight o'clock. And then by the time we'd got like their coats and everything back on and got them sorted, it was quarter past eight. And then we tried going to all the houses and all the houses like had notes up and up on their door saying like, we've run out of sweets, sorry. And I was like, oh my God, like, Everywhere's run out of sweets, what are we going to do? It's their first year ever trick-or-treating, nowhere has any sweets, what do we do? Like, the, the streets were empty by this time, like, no one was out, no one was trick-or-treating anymore. So, some of the houses that did have some left, I think there was, like, three, maybe three houses that had any sweets left, they literally were like, just take the whole bucket, like, take the whole bowl, it's fine, take it. So, I mean, they were happy enough, I just felt bad, and Jordan felt bad, because we were like, oh my god, like... They were so looking forward to going trick or treating. Like that was the whole, the only thing that they were talking about all week. And then the day finally comes for it, and then they couldn't do it really. Like they could do it, but they just couldn't do it properly. So I'm just going in with the Hoola bronzer and my contour brush by Next Professional Makeup, and just gonna go in and contour. So once I've done that, I'm now going in with the Naked Flushed Palette by Urban Decay and just going in with that bronzer shade again. Not again, because I haven't done that in this video yet, but just going in with it. So we're going out on Saturday to celebrate my birthday. My birthday was in September, but me and George just, we had so much going on and I had an operation two days before my birthday, so on my actual birthday I couldn't do anything, I couldn't walk or anything, so we're literally only just getting around to celebrating my birthday now. But I just feel like, I have no idea what to wear, I feel like men have it so easy, like they just chuck on a top, chuck on some jeans and some shoes and you're good to go, you can just go out however you are. But girls, like, it's so hard, and I have no idea what to wear. I don't even know what I want to wear. I don't know what kind of thing I want to wear. And Jordan's like, oh, just wear, like, this and that. And I'm like, 
I wore that the first time we ever went out. I can't wear that again. They don't understand, do they? I Like, is it a girl thing? Or is it just like some girls, like... You just can't really wear something that you've already worn. Or is that just silly? Can you? I don't know. Like, I... When I was 18, I always used to go out. Like, the minute I turned 18, that was it. Every weekend I was out. Every, like, every day... I was out, like if there was nowhere in Clapton to go out, we'd go to Colchester. I was always told like, you can't wear the same outfit twice, you can't be seen in a picture wearing the same outfit but on two separate occasions. It's so stressful, honestly it's so stressful and I'm like, I don't know what to wear. So I'm just going in to the NYX uh, Ultimate Brights palette, so this is the palette that's got all of the bright colours, so when I started, um, my manager, that like my account manager, gave me a little goodie bag of things and I got to choose which products I wanted. So I've actually got a tester version of it. So I don't have... And this little one here decided to fall out on me, which was a bright, bright pink colour. Um, but yeah, this is what the palette looks like. It's just normally in like a plastic, like an actual hard shell thingy. So I'm just going in with this bottom yellow shade here as like my transition colour so these shadows are like quite pigmented but compared to some of the shadows that I've used they're a little bit they're a little bit chalky I mean some of the I would say like the lighter colours, like the yellow, the light green, uh, yeah just the yellow and light green, the pigment isn't like, like you, you have to build it up just slightly, not loads, you just have to build it up a little bit, but it's not like where you have to sit there for like 15 minutes building the same shade up to get it to be noticeable. I need to go to the dentist and I hate them, I hate them so much, I don't know, like, I've never had like a bad experience with them but I've just always hated them, like my whole entire life I've hated, hated them and I definitely have to go because I was due a fill in last October and I still haven't been for it but it doesn't hurt or anything so that's like my little excuse, like, well it doesn't hurt, so I'm fine. But I think I definitely need to book it. Because I think if I don't go, and the children see me not going, then they're not going to go. I mean, Jordan had a really bad experience. And I was there, and I was like watching the whole thing, and honestly it was like watching a horror film. It was horrible. And, um... The dentist was literally like, her arms were shaking, she was like, oh, pulling at this tooth and oh my god, it was horrible, it was horrible to watch, it was horrible to be there and like, basically she, she numbed it but Jordan could still feel everything and he was like, I still feel that, I can still feel that and she was like, no, 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 it's numb, it's numb and he was like, no, I can still feel it and she went ahead and started attempting to pull this tooth out anyway after like I would say like half an hour of her like yanking at his mouth her arms were shaking like oh it was horrible she she actually only pulled half the tooth out like all of a sudden she like flew back and half the tooth was in her hand and the rest of the tooth was still in Jordan's mouth and she was like oh I'm gonna have to leave it there and we was like, what? Like, you can't just leave half a tooth there. And Jordan said, like, it was the worst pain he's ever felt in his whole entire life. And it looked so painful, like, oh, bleh. Sitting there watching it was awful. Like, I feel really protective over Jordan, like, as if, like, he was my child. So when I see someone hurting him, I'm like, oh. Then I'm just going in with this. Oh, this orange shade. So much purple just fell out there and it's going to be all over my carpet. 
So I'm just going to go in the crease with that orange shade. It's my little brother Joe's birthday today, so happy birthday. I hope you have a really lovely day. Wish that we could be there with you, but we can't. But I hope you have a really lovely day. I think he's doing um, an escape room or something. I think that's what he was saying. I think it's a bit like Jungle Run. Do you remember Jungle Run? It was so good. It was such a good show. I used to love that every day after school get in, actually no, used to go to the sweet shop, add Linton's, get some sweets, go home, put CITV on, watch Jungle Run, My Parents Aliens, what else? I don't even know what else, but it was amazing. It's so crazy, like when you're a child, you just want to grow up, but once you've grown up, you just want to be a child again. I think, I mean, these palettes are like £16, I think. Or is it £18 for 4, 8, 12? It's £18 for 16 shades, and I think that's amazing. Like, that's such good quality. So I'm just going into my creased brush by NYX. It's the number 17 brush. Just going back into that orange shade, just to really get into the crease. We're having steak tonight. Um, Jordan's stepdad, like our stepdad, is cooking it for us. He does the best steaks in the whole entire world. I've never tasted a steak so good. Like, I don't even know how he does it, but it's bloody amazing. And I don't like my peppercorn sauce. So when I was younger, actually I wasn't even that young. I was probably like 15. But my granddad loved steak as well. And he was eating this steak and it looked so nice. I was sitting there like... And I said to him, like, Grandad, what have you got on your steak? And he said he had Worcester sauce, salt and pepper. And so I tried that. What? It's amazing. You have to try it. If you like Worcester sauce, please, please, please promise me you'll try Worcester sauce all over your steak. Salt and then cracked pepper. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't wait. Me and George literally haven't eaten all day just to like save ourselves for it because and also as well with me I don't know if it's just me everyone says it's everyone that I know says it's just me but I I can't mix my food like I can't have a, a fork full of like different food because then I think well I can't taste the thing that I love the most so I always eat like the things I don't I least like then the things I like a little bit more than that then like the second best thing and then the best thing like I save the best till last so I eat everything around it and it doesn't matter how full up I am if I know I love that thing I'll eat it all and oh, oh. steak is my favourite <laughs> I don't know whether to do purple here hmm purple, red pink No, purple. I'm going to do purple. So, with the Ultimate Brights palette as well, um, I think um, I think I'm going to go in with this purple here, which is, oh my god, it's crumbling everywhere. That's what it's doing. So I'm just going to pack that on. Also, did you realise in my in my other video, my last video, I was laughing so much when I was editing it because at the beginning, when I said what shade I am in the Super Stay Foundation, I was like, warm sun. It sounded like I was about to start a bloody story. So that's not story time, mate. I'm a really bad storyteller. Like my stories go on and on and on and on and on, and they don't actually have a point. They don't have a point to them. 
I'm just going to go on top of that with the darker purple shade up here. Oh my. It's going everywhere. It's going everywhere. Sometimes I really hate my voice. Like, when I'm watching, when I'm editing it, I always think that like, I just sound so like my t my voice is like one tone like it doesn't change it doesn't go up it doesn't go down it's just one look if I shut this eye watch this eyebrow <laughs> what? strange and when I smile as well like in pictures this eyebrow is always up like so now we're kind of done with the purple shade, I'm just going back in with that crease brush and back into the orange shade just to blend them two together. Here comes Jord. What? Yes. No! Jesus! I love that look. Thank you. Here's the best. So once you've done that you will sometimes get fallout just here but if you've already set your under eye then you will just be able to wipe that away. I'm not really too sure what shade to do underneath, I think I might do blue underneath because I was thinking of doing like a blue liner, might completely ruin the look but there she goes again, wiping her brushes on her clothes. This one just here. Oh, sorry. So we just went and done the blue underneath and the blue liner and I used the NYX Vivid Brights liner in Vivid Sapphire. This one here. So this is really, really lovely and like I find that it gets bolder and bolder as it dries. So once it's dried down it is really quite bold. It's so cold outside, isn't it? Like, I think it's really crazy how you don't realise, like, how cold it is until it's really cold. Like, one day, you're sitting there in, like, no clothes. Well, obviously clothes, but, like, um, like, shorts and stuff. And then all of a sudden, you need, like, jackets, coats, gloves, hats, scarf. Like, then it's winter. But I don't actually notice it until it's either winter or summer. It's really strange, but it's so cold. So cold. So I'm just waiting for my lashes to dry now and I'm just going to do my lips whilst I'm waiting for that. Oh no I'm not. No we're not. I'm going to put some mascara on so I don't look so strange. I'm going to line my lips with the Rimmel London. This is so, it's quite old. Well it's not old but I just use it all the time. It's the lip liner in Cappuccino. So I'm going to just line my lips now. So then what I did was I just lined my lips with the cappuccino liner and then went in on top of that with the MAC um, Jamie Genevieve shade. So this is like the nicest nude shade I've ever ever seen in my whole entire life. It's literally amazing. I hope that you liked this video and if you did please leave a thumbs up. Thank you so so much for taking your time to watch my videos and please like and subscribe to my channel to get more videos and click the little bell as well so that you're notified when I upload um, that way you'll never miss that's my, that's my chair by the way that way you'll never miss um, one of my uploads and you'll know first of all when I've uploaded <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching this um, and yeah this is a sunset eye look thank you bye